Welcome back. A new viral TikTok trend may be encouraging people to commit check fraud. Videos posted to the TikTok platform shows people depositing checks made out to themselves for large sums of money. Then they withdraw as much as they can without exceeding that sum, leading them to believe that they tricked the system. But Chase calls it a form of criminal check fraud and warns people not to try it. Many banks allow check depositors to access a portion of their funds before the check actually clears. Experts say when it comes to bank glitches, it's not your money. And when the bank figures it out, they'll want it back. All right, so look, I'm, I'm a little late with this one, but I just had to talk about it because I think it's just dumb, you know, with, you know, people are just f choosing to follow this trend. Um, but look, I mean, there's no such thing as free money. And, and when people encounter stuff like this, whether it's online or in person, it's important to stay conscious about, you know, these easy or free money situations. Um, you know, and, and, and one thing I think that with the banks, you know, when people think that they're getting extra funds into their accounts and they think they're getting over, the bank will correct whatever the issue is and recover those funds. And um, as tempting as it may be uh, for people to take advantage of, any unearned money that isn't yours must legally be returned and, and failing to do so can result in legal consequences. But with what some of these people who followed this trend, I guess, by depositing the fake checks and quickly withdrawing the money before the checks bounce, that so-called glitch is actually fraud. And, and what they were doing, I mean, it's nothing new. It's been around for, for a long time. And uh, yeah, now, I mean, Chase Bank, along with law enforcement, they're pursuing those who participated. And my thing is those who participated in this fraud, they've just made their lives hard. And, and, it, and if they thought that their lives were hard before, you know, they've made things a lot harder for themselves because there will be consequences and they will feel the effects of their decisions probably for some time to come because now they're looking at prison time, um, court and legal fees and then they have to pay that money back so i mean yeah there, there's nothing that they can say to get them out of this and um i'm sure that there were you know they were caught on camera at the atm depositing those fake checks and then they used their own bank accounts which to me means that they had to put their uh their pin numbers in you know when they were at the atm and tap on that deposit bu uh check button so I mean, the bank got everything on them from the dates and times and locations where the checks were deposited and where the money was taken out. So, uh, yeah, the bank, they, they know who these individuals are. And then there's a uh, digital footprint. Now, these fools even posted their crimes on social media. So that's why I said there isn't anything that they can say to uh, <clears throat> get them out of this mess that they've created for themselves. Uh, but one thing, too, I saw somebody mention or ask a question, well, what if you're behind on your bills and you're hungry? What would you do? Um, yeah, my response to that was if, you know, if those things were true, if you were behind on your bills, you were hungry in need of food, there are programs out there that provide bill assistance. And then when it comes to the food, there are food pantries and things like that that you can go to. But to me, these individuals who participated in this fraud, they just saw an opportunity for an easy come up and thought that they wouldn't get caught. It's almost like how um, that stuff that went down with the, those uh, PPP loans where a lot of people got caught up defrauding the government. And, and we see how that went. You know, people are still being charged and sentenced for that to this day. So it, it's only a matter of time before everything catches up to them. And um, I, I, I just think stupidity and greed just got the best of them. And uh, as of now, Chase says that the issue has been fixed and they've estimated that I think thousands of people were involved and those that were involved, they're, they're going after them along with uh, the help of law enforcement. So those who participated better pack a lunch, buckle up because it's, it's going to be a long ride. But, um, but anyway, just, I mean, just try to keep your noses clean and just do the right thing. Um, because, I mean, stuff like this just it, is just not worth it. Because now I'm pretty sure they're sweating bullets knowing that 
any day, any moment, law enforcement is going to come knocking on their doors, wanting to talk to them, and they, they're going to be arrested. So y'all take care, stay safe, and just make better choices. Peace.